Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to this video. You look, you're glowing. You've got a glow. Have you been in the sun or maybe just tanning in a tanning salon? Anyways, um, welcome to the video. We are talking about clip drop in this one. Now, uh, just to be upfront here, I am have not been paid. This is not a sponsored video. There's been no contact between us. I just find sites that designers or people are using and I subscribe to them and pay to see how good they are so you can take a look and not have to do that and decide for yourself. Now, ClipDrop is an AI site. Um, they have all kinds of tools. We're just gonna use a few, see how it is. <clears throat> uh, here they have generative fill. We've all seen that in Photoshop. They have their AI image generator like Mid Journey or Dolly. We're gonna try this head swap to see how that works. Um, they have Stable Diffusion Turbo where you kind of just type something in and an AI image pops up instantly. They have an AI writer that replace background tool. We're gonna try the remove background tool to see how well it works. Uh, they have a cleanup tool to remove objects, an uncrop to make images bigger, an image upscaler for quality. They have this cool thing called Stable Doodle where you can draw a picture and type in what it is and it'll come up with the image. We're gonna try this Reimagine XL where you can upload a photo and it'll give you multiple versions of that. So we'll try it with a room and see how it looks. They have a Relight uh, tool, which we'll try. They have a Sky Replacer and they also have a Text Remover tool. So let's get started with this Head Swap tool. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this picture of this guy on the street and we are going to replace it with this guy or maybe a couple heads to see how it looks. Okay, so we've got this guy uploaded and we're gonna try um, two different heads here. So let's try uh, this guy first. I'm gonna click and drag his head over top and Clip Drop's gonna think and do its thing here. <laughs> okay, so let me turn the preview off. So um, it looks right size-wise. Clearly <clears throat> there's a color matching difference here. Now, if you're a photographer, let me know below what this kind of look is. It's kind of like a vintage soft kind of look um, and he looks um, well, like he doesn't, he's not in the same picture really. So obviously that could be adjusted later, but for a quick swap and adjusting later, I think that's pretty good. Let's do another one of his to see another version. See if it looks any better. Thinking about it. Okay, then there's this one. And this one looks okay too. Again, it, he's clearly the color tones are off there, but for a quick head swap, it looks proper. Everything is sized properly. Um, it looks like the guy pretty much. Let's try another one here. I'm gonna grab this head of this guy down here. And let's switch that and see how this guy looks. Uh, okay. Not too bad, I guess. Let me do that. He actually looked like he fit a little bit better. I'm gonna try a different version of, of him. Yeah, so the color tones are off, obviously, but for a head swap, I mean, it's pretty good for the way it does. Like, again, you'll have to adjust afterwards, but not too bad. I'm gonna go through and do a couple more head swaps and uh, we'll speed it up and just see how this looks. Okay, so next up, let's give this uh, remove background a try here. And we're gonna use um, a couple images here. Let's start with this one. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one and we're gonna see how it removes the background with her hair. Um, there's some good contrast there, but there's some um, spots that aren't so clear. So let's see how it does with the background remover. Okay, so pretty good. Um, obviously there's some bleed through in here and over here. <clears throat> um, it looks like it took off some of her hair up here. But other than that, the arm in here is good. So for a quick selection, I would say that's pretty good. Let's try a few other photos and see how it does with the background remover. Okay, so next up we're gonna try this Reimagine XL and I'm gonna use this um, room as an example and we'll see what it comes up with. Okay, so here's the original photo and let's see uh, what it came up with. So we got this one here, which is pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. This version here, which I'm, I also think is great. And this one here. So this is impressive. Um, so original one, and here's the uh, reimagined one. The blue's slightly different, but they're all kind of by a window. They're all uh, similar furniture, similar tones. 
So this one's actually pretty impressive. Uh, that is Reimagine XL. Okay, so this is the Relight tool. So I'm gonna upload this photo here and we're gonna see how, uh, how it looks. Okay, so by default, it loads these uh, presets here and you can see you can move this around um, to change sort of the lighting. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a second light and maybe we'll make this one like a purple, a strong light here. We're gonna move that one over here. And you can change the power of it or the distance of how far away or how close it is and then move it. And it's pretty cool how it picks up where the shadows would be on the face. Um, if you can see how it's moving, um, you know, in real real lighting, there would be, you know, high, highs and lows on the face depending on shadows and where, um, where the light's coming from. <clears throat> so you can change all this stuff around. I'm, I'm actually, in this particular picture, it's pretty impressive how you can change the lighting. So this tool's pretty cool too, this relight tool. I like this. Um, it's gonna vary photo to photo, obviously, but the way it picks up the where, where the light would actually show is pretty impressive. So this is the relight tool, um, which uh, even if you weren't gonna use it yourself, it would give you an idea if you were trying to put lighting in and shade it in yourself, where it would actually belong on the face. So uh, the relight tool. All right, and very quickly, I'm just gonna show you a few other ones. This is the turbo one where you can uh, text to image really fast. So let's say a dog running a marathon. See how fast it is? Okay, there it is, that's pretty good. Let's say a moose playing hockey at midnight outside Tim Hortons. Okay, <laughs> all right, and let's do one more. Uh, let's say a graphic designer using a pen and pencil. Okay, whatever. So that's the uh, turbo that does something pretty fast. Let's check out one more thing. Okay, so we're gonna try this stable doodle <clears throat> where you t uh, draw something and um, type a prompt and it comes up with something. So let's go, I'm gonna draw this guy. As you can see, my artistic skills are off the hook. I'm gonna give this guy, I'm gonna make this guy a boxer. I'm gonna these, these are gonna be boxing gloves. And he's gonna be happy. I'm gonna say an elderly boxer wins a fight against an old rival. No style. Let's generate and see what happens. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is going on? <laughs> Okay, let's do this one first. Um, okay, uh, interesting. This one, this guy's giving up. <laughs> there's three. Unless there's three guys in the ring here. Unless it's the referee. This guy's giving himself an uppercut with uh, a different glove. And uh, what was the last one? This guy has this giant boxing glove. What a defense! How are you gonna break through that defense, buddy? Um, okay, so that was the stable doodle for my drawing uh, with no style pick. So um, that is click drop everybody. Um, these are all your tools that you have. Um, let me know what you think of this site uh, down in the comments. Uh, if you've liked this video, please uh, tap, tap, tap the like button. And if you've never seen my stuff before, uh, join, subscribe, join the gang. We go for ice cream once a month and then someone gets mint chocolate chip and someone says that's disgusting and then there's an argument and then everybody <clears throat> says we're not going to do it again next month and then we do it again next month anyways. So thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.